Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today we're gonna try and install a transmission cooler on this 2002 Camaro SS. I say try because normally you would uh, mount these in front of the radiator and as you'll see it's not really possible on this car so I'm gonna have to try to figure out a spot for it. Okay, so here's the transmission cooler I got off Amazon. It's a Hayden Automotive Ultra Cool Trans Cooler. I have an idea where I'm going to mount it. There probably won't be the best airflow through there, so I figured I'd get the biggest one I could. Uh, well, it's probably not the biggest one, but it's fairly big. And I also just got the, the tube cooler. Reason for that, I wanted something that was high flow. The stacked ones, I think, cool a little better, but they're a little more uh, restrictive, I guess you, you would say. So I want something that would flow real, real easy because I already got a transmission cooler on here and I'm going to show you that here in just a minute. Okay, here's the transmission cooler I added. It's just a two-pass. Now it ain't really doing the job that I need it to do and it's not really the fault of the cooler. It's more to do with where I mounted it. Uh, as you can see, it really it's underneath the car here. It wouldn't get oh, probably hardly any airflow. Now I kind of knew that when I installed it. It's a dumb spot to put it, but I'll tell you why I put it here. I put this on just shortly after I bought the car, and the car was complete, completely stock, with uh, the only exception being uh, an SLP trans or SLP lid. And my plan was not to mess with the car when I first bought it. And we know that kind of went south. But anyway, what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove this cover right here. And I'm going to see if there's any room up in there to mount the cooler somehow. And like I said, the airflow won't be great. That's why I got a lot bigger cooler than what I needed. Anyway, I'm going to remove this panel. And uh, we'll see, see if we can mount it up in there. Okay guys, so I got the transmission cooler all in. Unfortunately, I didn't really record much of it because, uh, well, it's kind of a pain. Anyway, my first idea was to put it either in here or in here, and that there definitely wasn't gonna, definitely wasn't gonna work. But I got looking and I seen that there's a big gap in between the condenser and the radiator. So I decided to put it in here. But, uh, like I said, I couldn't put it on the front because that's where that ram air scoop goes. So now I mounted it in here and I run the lines out through the top and the intake clears it. The intake will go down on there and there's lots of room there for the hoses. And turned out these hoses that come with the cooler are slightly bigger than what was actually on the car. So uh, I had to adapt them to one another with these here now this here was the right size for the the aftermarket cooler but it was they're a little bit too big for the lines that were already on the car but i uh managed to force it on so i got them to work okay so this is how the routing is this here is the factory line it's the the hot line it was in the bottom and then the cool side comes out the top and it runs down here and then I got it hooked in to uh, this uh, dual pass cooler which which I mentioned earlier doesn't do a very good job of cooling because of where it's at but I'm still going to use it so it goes in here and then it goes out and then it goes up into that cooler that I put in between the radiator and the condenser. And then the line that comes out of it comes down here. And this goes back to the transmission. So that should be more than enough to cool it. Anyways, i got to throw everything back together. And I'll get it out and take it for a drive. And we'll see what the... I'll let you know what the temperatures are. Okay guys, we've got everything back together. I got the transmission cooler all hooked up. Uh, one thing I don't think I did for the video was show the actual transmission cooler itself. 
but it looks identical to this one, only this here's a six row and I got an eight row. Now, mind you, if I would have remembered, which I should have remembered there was a space in here between the condenser and the radiator, but my memory's pretty, pretty bad. Uh, anyways, the cooler I got, like I say, this here's a six row, I got an eight row, which probably, the cooler I got's probably bigger than what I need, but uh, shouldn't hurt anything. Anyway, we're just gonna put a little splash of uh, transmission fluid in just to make up for what I lost and make up for what the extra cooler takes. But the best time to do this, I'm just putting a little bit in for now. If I can get the, get it out. I'm just gonna put a little bit in it for now, just to make up for what I lost. And uh, what you gotta do is take it out and get it warmed up and then check it with the engine running. And that way you'll get a more accurate uh, reading. Like I said, I'm just putting just a little bit in. That's probably more than enough. But we'll uh, start it up here in just a sec. I've been driving for about 20 minutes. Normally the temp should be around 195 by now, but it's down to 162. And the coolant temperature seems to be about the same as normal, so never had any issues there. Ninety-five, not a terrible temperature to run at, but this is definitely better. I don't drive in the winter time, so I don't have to worry about it getting too cold. Okay, guys, I guess that's it for the transmission cooler. Uh, no leaks. I've topped it up. It just took a little, little extra fluid. And, uh, I gotta work on the shift points, which I kind of expected anyway, because, uh, I had them all set for the 323 gears. And when I put the gears in it, I just put the program, or put the transmission parameters back to stock. But, uh, again, that was with 323s. And it was still just a little too high, so I gotta do that. I gotta mess around with the transmission parameters with HP tuners, get that all straightened out, and then she should be ready for for testing to see what we get. Uh, like I say, it feels stronger to me, but uh, that doesn't mean a thing. You won't know until you actually run the numbers. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching, and we'll catch you in the next one.